Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna learn a little bit more about Thanksgiving. Um, so the reason we celebrate Thanksgiving is because the, there's a group of people called pilgrims who came across the ocean and they found America. And when they came to America, they met up with some people called Native Americans. And the Native Americans here in the Americas helped the pilgrims settle and become acquainted with their new their new homes here and their new life. They taught them how to farm the land and to grow their own food and crops. Um, and so because of that, we celebrate Thanksgiving because the pilgrims were very thankful for all their help from the Native Americans. Um, so kind of talk to talk about that a little more, I'm going to read Pete the Cat, the first Thanksgiving. So in this story, um, Pete the Cat is actually in a school play that talks about the first Thanksgiving. So I want you to pay close attention to what happens to bring about the first Thanksgiving um, and also what the pilgrims do and what the Native Americans do. So we'll get right into it. Pete the Cat, The First Thanksgiving, and is written by Kimberly and James Dean. <clears throat> Pete was nervous about being a pilgrim in his class's Thanksgiving play, The First Thanksgiving. Just do your best, his best friend Callie said. Pete said he would try. He was ready. His mom had even made him a pilgrim hat, which was really cool. And right there you'll see the pilgrim hat. Let's see here. Pete took his place at the front of the giant ship that his class made out of cardboard. Pete was a pilgrim on the Mayflower. So the Mayflower is the name of the boat that they sailed across on. There he is sailing on it. In 1620, a group of pilgrims decided to leave England for the New World to build a new life. It was a long, long trip on a big, big ship, all the pilgrims sang. The sea was rough and very dangerous. Many pilgrims got very, very sick. You can see they're getting a little sick there. Let me see if I can move this so we can see this easier. The dream of a new start in a new world made the hard trip all worth it. For more than two months, the pilgrims sailed. So you'll see they start in September. They wondered if they would ever get there. So they started in September and they went through October and then they made it to November right there. And November is the month that we're in right now. After 65 days on the ship, the new world finally came into view. Land ho, Pete cried. All the pilgrims did a happy dance. The pilgrims arrived in the New World at Plymouth Rock in what is now called Massachusetts. Everyone had many chores to do, like growing food, finding water, and building shelters. Look at that, they built a house. Uh -huh. The first winter in the New World was long and hard. In the springtime, the pilgrims had to make a decision whether to give up and go back to England or to keep trying. The pilgrims had heard about the Native Americans and many worried that they would not be friendly. Pete had never met a cat he didn't like, so he thought that they would be kind. Oh, there's a Native American and a pilgrim. Pete was right. He made a new friend in Squanto, Squanto and the other Native Americans showed the pilgrims how to grow crops like corn, beans, and squash. By summer, the pilgrims had learned how to farm the new land. There's corn there. Looks like they got some squash there. By fall harvest, the pilgrims had plenty of food. To thank Squanto and the other Native Americans, the pilgrims invited them to share their harvest. Ooh, look at all that food. This celebration became known as the first Thanksgiving. Pete was relieved when the play was all over. He hadn't remembered all of his lines. Wow, I never thought about how hard it was back then, said Pete. 
You did great, Callie said. Later at Thanksgiving dinner with his family, Pete said, Let's all go around the table and say something we're thankful for. They're thankful for their friends. This one's thankful for a skateboard. And Pete is thankful that the pilgrims came across on the Mayflower. And it says, what are you thankful for? So, I want to know what you are thankful for. So go ahead and share again with a friend or brother or sister or your mom and dad. I'm going to share something that you're thankful for during this time. Okay, have fun. I'll see you later.